very very excited i am very honored because this is as you know after 18 years of public life and of serving in the rajya sabha this is the first opportunity i have got to contest in the lok sabha and that our prime minister and our home minister and our party president have chosen to field me as their candidate in the capital of kerala trivandrum uh, a state that i belong to state my family comes from is a great honor i am very very excited i am very happy and of course it is a campaign i look forward to and it is a campaign that i will uh, start very shortly and uh, steer the discussion and veer the discussion to the vital issues that confront our people of trivandrum which is about development which is about the lack of opportunities for the last 10 years despite india moving forward they have uh, in a lot of ways not got all the opportunities that prime minister narendra modi ji has created due to the congress uh, uh, congress presence in the in parliament from there as well as the cpm government so i think uh, the challenge for me and the opportunity that i see is that uh, the duo of the indi alliance of uh, both the congress and the cpm which have held kerala back which have held trivandrum back for several years and decades uh, needs to be replaced uh, that it is a time for change and i hope to uh, do this on the back of a good robust debate on development and opportunities uh not a single mp in amla from the kerala and uh, now you got a ticket from the trivandrum and also shashi tharoor how would you see your uh, uh, campaigning strategy no our campaign strategy is very simple our campaign strategy is uh, always going to be very simple because it is about politics of performance the last 10 years prime minister narendra modi ji and the bjp and the nda government has delivered and developed uh, so much uh, the the present and the future of india as you know the the government narendra modi ji inherited a shattered economy with high inflation in 2014 and over the last 10 years he has transformed it to the fifth largest economy of the world from the fifth most fragile so therefore we will take these kinds of issues to the people of trivandrum and i have absolutely no doubt that uh, the people of trivandrum this time will decisively support and the people of kerala will decisively support prime minister narendra modi ji and the nda also sashi tharoor because he is the very most powerful uh, politician in the camp uh, i don't know that is your perception i don't consider uh, anybody powerful i think the people of trivandrum are the most powerful people of tiruvannamalai will decide who they believe is more credible to represent them in parliament who they believe should be the best leader of the country uh, in delhi uh, they will they will uh, decisively i believe vote for prime minister narendra modi ji in these elections and vote me as their mp in these elections to represent them in parliament and in government lastly bjp uh, is going to win uh, lok sabha election in uh, lok sabha election bjp uh, bjp is going to uh, win the lok sabha election 2024 bjp will have a decisive mandate as you know in 2014 the people of india voted out the congress and brought the bjp and prime minister narendra modi ji in in 2019 the mandate was exp expanded to 303 seats uh, three, three seats and this time as it is very very clear from the atmosphere around the country and the confidence and the trust that people have in prime minister narendra modi ji this time nda will be for more than 400 seats all around the country first it is a three cornered contest because the communists have already named their candidate first and don't forget that i took the seat from the communist party and the gentleman who's the candidate now was the sitting mp when i came into the fray uh, he did not contest again at that time and um, it's now been 15 years that he's been out of the fray so it'll be interesting to see how he does mr pani and ravindran and then we've got um, the bjp has come second in the last two lok sabha elections so they have to be taken seriously and of course rajiv chandrashekar is a very well known uh, business figure he's also been a minister for the last couple of years and uh, i know him and he knows me but uh, uh, i'm hoping it'll be a uh, a fair and gentlemanly uh, <laughs> electoral contest i don't think that i have needed in my 15 years in politics to ever attack any of my critics i welcome them all i welcome the opponents and i let the let the public decide who they want to represent them in delhi uh, because in trivandrum uh, when he was there he said that most of the work done by prime minister modi for last 10 years um, it was not that much substantial in trivandrum and kerala how do you look at that because this is going to be a hard battle yeah yeah we should certainly point out that if they haven't done enough work in trivandrum that's uh, actually their failure because once they're elected they are the government for all of india you can't just uh, neglect opposition constituencies 
But the truth is that um, I've been doing a lot of stuff which does not involve the government to boost Trivandrum. For example, uh, Mr. Rajiv Chandrasekhar's strength is supposed to be the IT domain, but I'm the one who has negotiated directly on behalf uh, and with the Technopark of Trivandrum to bring Oracle to India and, in, and into the Trivandrum Technopark, and they're flourishing there. Uh, I was able to work with um, uh, others uh, on getting Nissan to come and move their entire IT and tech domain into the Trivandrum Technopark. I've been in negotiation with Tech Mahindra, which has opened a presence there. So I've been working with the tech sector as well. And it's not that these things haven't happened merely because I'm not in government. The fact is that um, what you can't do by not being in government is what the government can do. But even there, I had already succeeded while we were still in power in bringing a long blocked uh, National Highway bypass road from Trivandrum to the Tamil Nadu border, which had been stuck for 40 years. And I got all the log jams removed, followed it right through, got the checks um, changing hands and the project starting before the 2014 elections. And uh, that was essential, I thought, because once the project is starting, you can't do anything to it. But I will say that after 2014, I had the excellent cooperation of Minister Gadkari. Uh, to ensure that the project has moved forward very, very smoothly and effectively. Mm -hmm. But I've had to follow through at every stage, which is to go regularly to inspect the work, uh, hear community objections, because very often problems arise when you're actually constructing a new road, mm -hmm. uh, when people on either side of it suddenly say, you know, our kids no longer have access to their school, we need a foot over bridge or we need an underpass or whatever. There were literally a hundred such incidents and occasions where I went, I dragged National Highway officials there, I got the things cleared and changed. So these are the kinds of things an uh, 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 MP has to do retail mm -hmm. that doesn't matter whether Mr. Modi is sitting in Delhi or not. In any case, the Congress party intends there to be a change in whether Mr. Modi is sitting in Delhi after this election too.